What's going on guys? Just want to do an update on uh, the Project Jetta here. Got it together for the most part. As you can see, I got the front mount intercooler on there. Put on new headlight lenses. Still got to get a paint job. Paint's pretty rough. The video hides a lot, but especially like up here. Roof's all faded out. It's got some dings. It's got a some door damage on the bottom, and then it's got a pretty good it's like a long dent right here. So besides that, gotta get new tail lights. Tail lights took someone tried to sand them, which made them all hazy. It's kind of weird. I put the coilovers on like a week ago. Um, it's now got SK springs and struts in the front. And it's got Bilstein shocks with SK springs in the back. Fully adjustable. Um, I gotta lower it a little bit because I just guessed on the initial um, height adjustment on the coilover. So the back's all right. The front's got to come down like half an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. <clears throat> got the Raider work wheels on there, fresh rubber. I just put some cheapy tires on there for now because this thing spins through third if you get on it really hard. So. Yep, she's running pretty good. Let me show you the motor. So yeah, she's pretty much put together. Um, I just gotta get a sleeve with a downpipe or wrap it, whichever, just to get some of the heat out of there. Uh, yep, got it all set up. Catch cans ran. As you can see, I got it mounted by the battery. Got a little heat shield on the intake. Turbo in that pipe, got the diverter ran. Everything's good. She's running really good. Holding boost. Um, I'll probably put some pull videos in this video, edit it in. Probably take it to the store later. Record a couple things. Um, yeah, if you're if you've been watching the project, then you already know what's going on. You know the turbo. If you're new to the channel, then it's basically a GT30 turbo, CX Racing. Um, you know, 55 trim, CT tuning diverter valve, Unitronic Stage 3 tune, uh, 630 Siemens injectors, Siemens Deca. <coughs> Just got custom hoses, you know, got aluminum coolant fittings, uh, front mount and a quarter, two and a quarter pipe. I'm trying to think of what else. Just dressed up a little bit, you know. Um, I'm gonna be putting a BFI stage two clutch in it with a single mass flywheel that weighs 14 pounds. I figured that's the best option for me. Um, it can handle 400 foot-pounds of torque, which this thing doesn't even make close to that. It makes like 290 to the wheels torque and about 301 horsepower on the last dyno session. So it's probably making about 350 crank before drive train, train loss. And it's making over 300 torque because it's 290 to the wheels. So, um, yeah, I got to clean the interior up too be getting some racing seats some just cheap ones off ebay some black racing seats throw them in there get some harnesses i got the seats out um i'm gonna be putting a half cage in it just something for the harnesses in the back and cleaning this up you know got the fire extinguisher mounted already i didn't really want to put it up visible just in case you know draw attention from cops Cops are super bad over here because there's been a lot of racing crashes, so they're cracking down on it. So I don't want to make this look like a race car when a cop sees it. 
I definitely got to put the front bumper back on. Um, and that's it. Just got to do a couple things. Might have to do axles eventually. I don't really launch it. I do more of rolling stuff. So hopefully the axles will hold up. This turbo is pretty old. It's got like 50,000 miles on it and it's an eBay. It's a $400 eBay turbo with 50,000 miles, no shaft play, no smoke. And anybody that says eBay turbos are no good and won't last, I think it's just luck of the draw because this one's been on this motor, this setup for three years almost and beat the shit out of it. Daily drove it forever and it's still good. But eventually I am going to change it. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Probably like a 60 something millimeter 85 AR housing so I can get up in that 400 horsepower range. Just the motor's recently been redone, the head and everything, all fresh OEM. But I'm going to uh, put rods in it eventually because that's really what these motors weak, weak spots are is the stock rods, connecting rods. Once I put some H beam rods in it, uh, the pistons are good for, you know. 400, 500, the stock pistons. Uh, they're forged from the factory on these motors. Um, the cranks are good. You know, just got to get different head gaskets set up and some ARP studs for the head and a good clutch in it. Just make sure I don't launch it too hard. Should be pretty good. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, she's going good. Plan on taking it back to the dyno. When I put a different turbo on it in a couple months, see what it makes. Hopefully, I'm shooting for 350 to the wheels next time. Just something, something decent. Nothing crazy. I'm going to be doing more stuff to the wagon. This is my VR6 uh, five-speed wagon. Pretty rare combo. VR6 and a manual five-speed. Um, it's a stage two tune right now. Just intake and some exhaust work. Nothing special. Um, it sounds really good. I'm going to be changing the suspension up. Thinking about putting it on bags as a daily. Not trying to really make it like race car. Just put it on some like decent looking wheels with maybe airbags. I'm not sure. Or just some lowering springs on the stock suspension maybe. Um, I've already put my Recaro GLI seats in it from my old blue car. So it's got a GLI interior and uh, runs good, man. Got the roof rack on there. So yeah, I'll be doing stuff to that eventually, putting it on the channel. And, uh, you guys can look forward to that. So I'm gonna do a clutch video when it happens, do some DIY for you. And um, thanks for watching, appreciate it.